How's this for Kiwi Sporting Ingenuity? Hayden Padden is at the forefront of developing an electric rally car. After losing his Hyundai Works drive last year, Padden is hoping to revive his international career with his new Kona EV. Mattel Smith went to his Cromwell base to investigate. Lifting motorsport into a new dimension. Uh, well, this car here will be on, on the stages testing uh, next year. Um, okay, full length rallies and championships will be in 2021. Uh, but yeah, people will see this out on the stages next year. It is going to be very exciting. It's got a lot of power, a lot of torque. Developing an electric rally car is the latest venture in a roller coaster year for the Geraldine driver, who was unwanted for the vacant seat with Hyundai on the WRC. For Patton, as long as the car goes fast, what's under the bonnet is irrelevant. And this car is going to go faster than what we're used to, so that's first and foremost. So, uh, and it will be spectacular. How do you make the noise louder? Because this is pretty quiet. Uh, it's all in the engineering and the transmissions and the differentials and the gearboxes, and so we're going to make out, make sure our one makes noise naturally. We don't want to be making artificial noise. Patton also believes the WRC is heading towards electric rally cars and he wants a head start. 10, 15 years of doing the norm, you're trying to, you know, I guess break the mould or change gear. Well, I do get bored quite easily, you see, so this is a, a whole new project, whole new vision, whole new way of thinking, and I sort of like to try and be leading the way, not just on the track, but you know, with what we're doing with our team, the future of motorsport uh, is in alternative energy uh, fuels. And, you know, we need to look towards the future. We need to embrace new technology. And While the 32-year-old has unfinished business in the WRC, he's certainly leading the pack in rally driving's new direction. Matt Hall-Smith, One News.